Hello everyone, welcome to Optic Straight YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another review uh, of this Maven Binoculars B1.2 in configuration 10x42. I will go through some main features as always uh, and at the end tell you about the things that I like about these binoculars and some things that could be improved. And of course, thank you all uh, to our viewers for watching our videos because without you none of this would be possible. Okay, so let's start with the manufacturer. So Maven is a new player on the market. It's a US based company uh, which was founded in 2013. So really new company. They're offering wide range of different products. We have rifle scopes, binoculars, monocular spotting scopes and other accessories. Uh, so about the series, we have B1.2. Uh, this means the B series of Maven is a high performance elite level of optics. They have more affordable series uh, called C. And B1.2 is basically an updated version of their popular flagship B.1 uh, binoculars. Uh, and they introduced the new models uh, in July 2021. And B1.2 or B1 stands for the series with 42 millimeter uh, objective lens uh, models. So with the new update of the models, they have wider field of view, improved coatings, a larger uh, Schmidt pack and prism, uh, and everything is, pack is packaged in a more lighter, more compact uh, build, uh, with, they also say, excellent light transmission. So, as I said, we have 42 millimeter models here uh, in B1.2. Uh, we have 8 by 42 and this model 10 by 42. And these binoculars are basically Jam Japanese components uh, that are assembled in the US. So let's now talk about weight and size. They weigh 791 uh, grams. Uh, they are around 14.5 centimeters long and 15.5, so one centimeter more uh, when we have extended eye cups. And they are around 13 uh, centimeters wide. They are smaller uh, than previous generation. Uh, if, we, if we would have here a uh, previous generation, they are about, I don't know, centimeter or centimeter and a half um, small, smaller, shorter. So the design, we have two color combinations available. Uh, this gray and orange, um, which I really, really like the design and the colors. But if you don't like the orange, you can also go for the black and gray combination. Magnesium housing, rubber armor. Uh, there are actually no, um, special grips or dots or thumb cutouts for easier handling. Um, we have a single bridge design, uh, of course, waterproof and fog proof filled with dry nitrogen to prevent any internal fogging. And they can also be adapted on a tripod. Here under this screw, we have um, the ability to attach a tripod adapter and then onto a tripod. Now moving on to some optical characteristics, Schmidt pack and roof prisms, as I said before, we also have extra low dispersion ED glass and scratch and oil resistor, resistant coatings on the outer lenses. Average field of view, 115 meters, 1000 meters. And talking about the image, I have to say that I'm really impressed by the Maven quality, not with, with just with this model, but with all the models, even from the C uh, series. But when you look through these binoculars, you immediately get a feeling that uh, the whole image is around you. I really like that feeling. We have a sharp image in the center, uh, as well as on the edges, so across the whole view really vivid colors and good correction of chromatic aberration. 
We also have 1.5 meters of close focus distance. So uh, that means that you can also observe some closer objects um, like butterflies or insects. And when I tested the close focus, it was even less, I'd say around 1.2 meters. Now, where would you use this kind of binoculars? Because of the 10 by 42 configuration, this is basically a standard config configuration with a little more magnification, which could uh, contribute to a more detailed image. But overall, these are uh, for everyone, for any type of observation, for hunting, uh, bird watching, wildlife observations, traveling, uh, they're not that big, also not that heavy. So maybe if you're um, maybe even hiking and want to explore more detailed image, these ones are definitely for you. Now the focusing, we have here this big central focusing knob. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is a really nice touch because the focusing ring and the diopter ring are uh, made out of metal so and these fine fine ridges to help with the grip I have to say that the turning of the knob is really really nice also the turning is quite smooth it's easily accessible so if you're holding your binoculars with one hand you can easily turn the knob we have here diopter adjustment ring uh, located on the right eyepiece. So we have here the indicator and then plus and minus to adjust the diopter. The turning is quite hard, which is a good thing. You only set this once and then leave it at that setting. Eye cups are rubber, rubberized and twist up, nicely designed. I like the, um, the width here. The turning is uh, quite easy, maybe a bit too easy. Um, we have three stop positions. So the first one, second one, and third one. And because of the really easy turning, I suppose they don't hold the position that well. So maybe the eye cups could be a bit, a bit improved, but uh, what, a, what is a nice thing uh, is if you um, damage them or something like that, you can easily replace them by just screwing them off. So that this is a really, really nice touch. They can really easily be replaced. Now, what you get when you purchase these binoculars, here you can see uh, we have objective lens covers that are attached onto the barrels, but can also be removed if they bother you. But this is a nice touch so you don't lose them. They are made out of rubber and I think that they do well their job to protect the objective lenses. Then we have eye cup um, covers. So covers for the eyepieces to protect the eyepieces. They are also made out of rubber. Then we have neoprene carrying strap. So to put your binoculars around your neck and carry them comfortably. You also get a, like this a microfiber um, case. So soft bag, basically it's not a case. Um, but if you uh, would like to have a hard case, you can always purchase it uh, separately. And you also get a English um, instruction manual on how to set strap, how to set adapter, focusing, uh, and so on. So. Um, so these are priced at 1079 euros of regular price here in Europe um, and Maven has a wonderful uh, warranty uh, so we have lifetime warranty 
but uh, it's a problem that in Europe we have to specify the warranty in years, so we offer 10 years, uh, but it, everything depends on the legislation in your own country. So now we've come to an end and some things that I really like about these binoculars. I have to say I'm really impressed by the optical quality. Um, for the price, these are amazing value, great warranty, nice and modern design. Uh, you can also get this, uh, as I said, in gray and black version. Metal features, I really like that. It's, it makes these binoculars really premium. Magnesium housing and also amazing close focus distance. Uh, I kind of struggled to <laughs> say some things that could be improved with these binoculars because I really, really like them. Um, maybe the quality of accessories, um, like overall quality, or maybe the design of the eye cups, so the quality of the eye cups. And also I have to talk about the brand awareness. So Maven is a really, really young company and um, their brand is not that known still uh, in the market of sport optics. Um, and maybe someone will not go for 1000 euro binoculars because they don't know the brand. They don't know if the brand will um, keep on doing uh, for several more years. So they don't know if they'll even be around in 20 years. Like you can uh, rely on the manufacturer like Swarovski or Leica or Zeiss. Um, so maybe with a few years, uh, so in a few years, uh, maybe we'll get recognized more, used more and build a better brand awareness. But overall, these are amazing uh, binoculars for the money. It's basically premium optic uh, for the price of 1000 euros. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed our uh, videos, please leave us a comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos. We also have a buying guide on eight and 10 by 42 configurations. So if you're on the market for these kind of uh, binoculars, uh, watch our buying guide and see you next time. Bye.